Hey there, my fellow designers and creatives. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video in my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at two interesting cool features that Figma is going to release soon. It's right now in the beta phase and component properties are about to go meta. And this is something that people have been asking for forever and it is super important. And I think we have everything finally here. Now, before I get started, if you haven't checked out my mega product design course for beginners, make sure to check it out. Link will be down below in the description. Okay, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video. Okay, so now let's look at these two features. Now, what I have here is basically um, a documentation of how I've documented the components. So it talks about how the components are structured and basically gives you a lot of information as well. Now, I have two videos on this. You should check that out. The first video is basically going to tell you how to create a component using base components and components component properties. And the second video is going to show you how to document these. And these are quite recent videos. So make sure to check those out after you finish watching this video. So now let's understand what these features are. Now, the first feature is if I take this component, let's try to understand how this is built. Now, this is built with this concept called as base components, right? So what's going to, what, what you can see over here is that we have this and we have a couple of properties. So we have the state, then we have the type, which is progress bar or default or whatever that is. And then we have multiple options. If I can turn on the accordion, that turns this on. Um, I have the end element, which I can toggle on and off. Start element, I can toggle on and off. And subtext as well, I can toggle that on and off. Now, what I want to do is if I want to go ahead and select this, right, I can click on this. And as you can see, this is also a nested base component. And this is also an instance. And what I can do is I can change that from CTA to icon, or I can change that to a tag. Okay. Now, I can go another level deeper, right? I can click on this tag element. So if I open this up, you can see that this tag element is also um, a nested component and I can change that from success to failure, right? And I can go back up and I can turn on the Chevron, right? So I can go two levels down and I can even go three levels down or four levels down as much as I want, as long as I'm using base components, right? Now, the problem with this is that I have to keep selecting other elements over here and I have to keep going down and it's a little bit of a hassle. I have to come here to the layers panel sometimes to understand which to, uh, layer to select. But now Figma has solved that issue, right? I'm going to go ahead and blow your mind. So first I'm going to go ahead and reset this, okay? Uh, so that it's normal state. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come here I'm going to click on this component group set, right? If you just have one component, make sure to select that one component. Uh, but in this case, since we have six variants, I'm selecting all of them, right? You want to click on this plus icon and down here, you're going to see something called as expose properties from nested instances. And when you click on that, you're going to get all your nested instances. For example, the start element, you can see it's being highlighted on the left side. You have Chevron. Um, now the Chevron is at the top level itself. So I'm not going to turn this on. Then you have subtext and then you have um, end element, right? So I'm going to turn on start element. I'm going to turn on subtitle and I'm going to turn on end element. Okay. Now, once I do that and then I click on an instance, what you see over here is all the properties of the base components are available right here. So what that means is I can come here to the end element and change that from CTA uh, to icon, or I can change that from icon to tag right over here. And I can change that to Chevron as well. And if I want to change the type to, I can set that to two tags. If I want, I can set the start to be a progress circle, or if I want, I can set this back to an icon container and change that to any other um, element that I want, basically the icon. And let's say, for example, we change this to a progress circle, right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm making all the adjustments right over here. Now, that's not it. We can take this a little bit further. Now, as I told you that these tag elements that we have also can be changed, right? But the problem is I'm not able to find those tag elements over here. I'm not able to find them. So we can go ahead, go to the parent component of this tag. So if I click on this icon, I go to the parent component and here we have all of this, right? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on the properties uh, plus and go into nested components. And then I'm going to expose the tag element. Okay. So now let's see what happens, right? So I'm going to come over here. Uh, and now, for example, if I set this to CTA, everything is, is fine over here. But then if I set this from CTA to tag, I get a brand new element over here where it says success. And now I can change that to neutral or I can change that to um, failure right over here. Right. And if I turn choose icon, it goes away because it's not relevant anymore. If I turn on CTA, it goes away. But if I turn on tag, another 
set of properties unlocks over here. So ideally, you don't even have to go any level deeper. Everything can be done from the top level itself. And this is incredibly awesome. Now, you can see here that I was able to change the tag elements, right, for this part. But what about these two tag elements, right? So what we can do is let's go select this, select the master component, and then here we're gonna go ahead and click on properties and then we're gonna say expose nested. So we have tag element and tag element. So we have two tag elements over here, right? And of course the naming is not proper over here because this feature just launched. So I would probably have to go ahead and refactor the namings, but it's still going to work. So let's check it out. So we're gonna click on the main component that we have over here. And as you can see, um, if I turn on subtitles, so if I say zero tags, then it hides. If I say one tag, I get the tag element and I can change that to failure over here. If I set that to two tags, I can change both the tag elements and I can set this to probably neutral. And then this tag element is connected to this one, right? So I can go ahead and change this to success, right? So basically what's happening here is that I'm able to customize every single thing right here. And this is insanely awesome. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.